Hello guys, we're back looking at the John Deere 9560R again today. Uh, today we're going to have a look at trying to add a 3 point link servo. And the idea is to put the link servo in here between the two wheels and have it operate the 3 point link here. Now, uh, the first step that I've done is to drill a hole here in the very top of this uh, 3 point link arm and that gives us the most leverage because the pivot points down here because remember some of the accessories we're going to be adding here are quite heavy die cast accessories so it will be quite difficult uh, to lift those um, the next thing I have done is to take a, a little servo like the one that I use for the steering in the other uh, models it's a See, it's a HK15178 servo from a Hobby King and what I plan to do is to just fit it in in this area here something something like that uh, at some point I'll uh, paint it so that it's you know obviously green and matches the rest of the model but uh, I've chosen that location because I may at some point uh, make this model four wheel drive. I might get two um two Siku motors and gearboxes and add one in the front, one in the back and try and make this model four wheel drive. But I uh, I'm going to test out the the Tamiya gearbox that I have in it first before I even think of that. So that's the location for the servo. So now we need to think about mounting the servo and uh, connecting it to the arm. Okay, so uh, before we get too carried away uh, modifying things, I've just uh, pushed the servo in here and I'm going to test it using our uh, servo testing circuit from uh, the video that we had a couple of weeks ago. So if you're looking for that, uh, it should be a link to it in the description of this video uh, or, or you can of course just go to the channel and uh, look through the videos yourself you might find other videos that you're interested in um, the first thing we're going to do is to stop our uh, our arm getting caught in these little grooves that are just here so we need to lift it up again and or to lift it up uh, kind of permanently so just as for for this test I'm just gonna push some blue tack into the uh, into the groove here which will hopefully hold the lifting arms of the three point link up long enough so that we can uh, do our quick little test here so let's give it a go obviously this isn't a permanent solution another piece Okay, so temporarily, at least, we have our we have our uh, arm uh, fixed in the, in the up position. So next thing we need to get is something to fix between our servo and our uh, arm here in the hole that we have already drilled. So the obvious thing to do this uh, part of the job is a paper clip and it's probably what most people would use to test their uh, initial servo setup. So let's make a little link between the uh, servo here and the lifting arm. So we want the servo uh, pointing down a little and I'll just bend and cut this into shape so that it fits in there. Okay, so I've uh, bent the paper clip and positioned it in here. Uh, I'll have to hold the servo while we test it because obviously, um, obviously uh, it's not mounted, so it will just move when we put the tension on. So if we turn our servo, we can see our lifted arms are moving up and down, and we have quite a bit of control over the range. Uh, byproduct of this uh, arrangement of the servo up here, I've just realised 
is that the lifting arms can't actually physically go down and catch on that latch anymore so I didn't really need the blue tack at all because we're actually lifting the arms up above the up above that link so so testing it without load isn't really much of a test so I've probably added the heaviest thing I have here which is this uh, butterfly mower with the batteries in it so let's see how easily it lifts that There you can see it doesn't have much trouble lifting that at all. And maybe we can weigh it down with something. Uh, just add an extra battery and see. Yeah, there's absolutely no problem. It has no problem at all lifting uh, lifting that load. So that seems to be working pretty good. We'll uh, fix this in place and uh, run the wire through to the front of the tractor. So if you can see in here, there's these uh, bars going up along here. There's two on either side. So what I'm doing to mount my servo, now you don't have to do this, you can do whatever you want. But what I'm doing is I cut a groove uh, at an angle in the mounting post of this uh, servo on either side and I've slotted it in to the two of these green uh, posts that I was talking about so my servo slides down there what I'm going to do is uh, glue that in place but first I'm going to paint it so I don't have the paint yet so I'll have to uh, sort that out before I can go any further but it has resulted in quite good movement I think of the lifting arm and this is the first time I've attempted to add a lifting arm to uh, my uh, one of my tractors so I'm quite happy with the results um, I think that's all for this week so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and it gave you some ideas on how to do uh, your own uh, servo installations and uh, if you have any questions shoot over to the forum I'll be more than happy to answer them or post them here on uh, YouTube uh, if you're interested in these kind of videos don't forget to subscribe and if you like to or if you want to find out how to make one of these uh, servo testers just um, click on the channel uh, on, on my channel below and you'll be able to find the video or the link should be in the description of this video so that's everything thanks very much for watching